Oh, hello there guys. Uh, Francis Square here and welcome to a new build video. And in today's video we're going to be making... What are we making today? Chaos. Oh yeah, Talos. We're making a Talos from Chasing the Argonauts. I'll see you after this. <laughs> okay guys, so here we have a model of Talos from the epic movie Jason the Argonauts. And uh, if you follow this channel, you'll know that uh, I'm a fan of Ray Harryhausen's work and I'm, one of my favourites, apart from Medusa, is the man himself, Talos. So I absolutely love this uh, this character slash creature. Uh, if you, well, is he a creature, I suppose, in a way? Uh, but anyway, getting back to the actual model. So this is made by Star Ace and in the original version that comes with it is you get the like the ship where he picks the Jason's and the Argonauts ship up and he rags it and breaks it and it uh, all comes apart and uh, that's uh, obviously in this hand here and I believe he's supposed to be situated on a base as well so the client, uh, this is a private commission, clients reached out to me and said can I repaint this uh, much like some of my past Talos uh, videos. So yeah, uh, looks like he's tried to have a go at repainting it himself. Uh, so as you can see there, there's like different shades of like that's pretty much black on the back there but he's tried to do a bit of dry brushing uh, here and there everywhere. So yeah, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take this outside into the spray booth and I'm going to give it a nice grey prime. Alright, alright, alright. Much later. Okay, so now that we've got a nice grey prime tail off for the next stage, I'm going to go in with some Brassy Brass, best name ever, for uh, from Game Colour, and I'm going to go ahead and give it an all over, one over coat. Okay, so now that this is all a base coat of copper, for the next stage I am going to go in with a black acrylic wash and I'm just going to go in with a fixable brush and I'm going to make sure I get into all the various nooks and crannies and then I'm going to gently wipe away the excess with some clean kitchen towel. So as you can see there, that already is a world of difference. 
just from the uh, just from the black wash. And yes, we mustn't forget about the sword. We should always do the exact same steps for the sword. And now that that's dried, for the next stage I'm going to go in with some olive green from Model Air. Okay, so as you can see there guys, that olive green really goes a long way to uh, making this look a lot more aged bronze like slash patina effect. So yeah, so let's crack on and do the rest. So yeah, I don't know if those are showing up on the camera, but he's looking a lot more aged and bronze now. So yeah, so let's uh, leave this to fully dry and then we can crack on with the next bit. Six and a half hours later. So for the next stage, now I'd normally do the exact same, but this time with a blue from Model Air or maybe a pale blue, also from Model Air. But the client uh, asked me, and he sent this out with the uh, with the tail loss, to do that stage with a, a nurgling green from Citadel. So if it's in, if it's going to have the same effect, I have no idea. But we can only just go and give it a try. Okay guys, so I thought I'd just do the foot first, just to see, and if I'm truthfully honest, yeah, I can see where he's, he's going with this. Yeah, baby, yeah! So I think that uh, that would make this look really old and patinaed. So yeah, let's crack on and do the rest of him.
Okay guys, so if you're going to try and recreate this and you are going to use the Nurgle and Green from Citadel, I would strongly recommend only painting a little bit and then wipe away the excess and then work in stages because this paint seemed to want to dry a lot faster than like say like the, the airbrush paints that I normally use. So I would only work a little bit and then you know keep wiping and move on and just work at, at your own pace but um, only a little bit at a time. I hope this helps. Okay, so now that that's fully dried, for the next stage we need to go ahead and recapture some surface <laughs> metallic details. So I'm going to go in with this pre-mixed copper acrylic that I have, and I'm just going to put a little bit on here, and then a fixed stipple brush, dab it on, get rid of as much of the paint as possible, and then dry brush the highlights. Okay, so for the next stage I'm just going to go in with some regular black acrylic and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to get into Talos's eye sockets and I'm going to paint it a nice dull black. Lifeless eyes, black eyes like a doll's eyes. And now I'm going to go in with a nice coat of matte varnish. Okay guys, so now that he's been given a decent matte varnish for the next stage, and this is the final stage, I'm going to go in with some watercolour, and I'm going to go in with this colour here, and I'm same again, just going to apply it on, get into all nooks and crannies, and then wipe away the surface, the, uh, surface area, and then what that does is it basically it hardens and makes like a nice patina effect in the very small crevices of Talos.
Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll leave that a couple of hours to fully dry, and then I believe he's finished. It must have been the wind. Okay guys, here he is, all finished. I have to admit, I am happy with the finished results. I do love me a good Talos kit. So, yeah, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick paint up build. Uh, me and myself, I've enjoyed working on this, but I, I, always work, I always enjoy working on Ray Harryhausen related characters, especially uh, characters like Talos. So yeah, I reached out to the client, showed him some photos, he's over the moon with it and I, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to boxing this big bad boy up and uh, shipping him off in the post. And uh, yeah, uh, once again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please slap that like button, share on Facebook and Twitter because it helps new people find the YouTube channel which I'm always appreciative. Thank you for any help. Uh, we've recently hit our uh, 2000 subscriber goal which I'm over the moon about. So thank you for all, to all you beautiful people that have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscription button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future builds. And we have got some really good stuff lined up for the future. And uh, yeah, next target is uh, 3,000 subscribers. And I can only get there with your help. So yeah, uh, if you want to be a really awesome viewer, please take five minutes to check out our Patreon page where with your help we can do these videos full time rather than part time, which means that way more videos for you and a lot more work for me and the world's a much happier place for it. Yay! So once again, I'm Francis Gray and this is the Mighty Tear Loss from Jason and the Argonauts made by Star Ace. I'll see you in the next build. If you like the content that I'm making you'd like to support my work, here is a few links in the description, but only if you can afford it, and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.